Hello, hello. Welcome in, friends. How's everyone doing? Bonk, I had to laugh at your comment. I'm gonna close the curtain. I think I like it like that for now, though. A little bit of natural light to start the day. Bonk, you only remember the first half of the night? Oh, man. 4.87 seconds late. I'm sorry, I had to fix the stream quality because it decided to be bad for me today. Like literally, I was talking with Rando this morning. I was like, I'm so happy with how the subathon went. We didn't even like have any stream problems yesterday, like at all. And then I knocked on wood, but obviously that didn't work right afterwards because then I started the stream. It's like 31% dropped frames. So yeah, we turned down the quality back to 720 again because, well, I guess that's how we're going to have to go today. Okay, we'll turn on this light. Kate ready to cook face. Guys, I passed out. What, we finished the stream at like 9 p.m. my time last night? I was in bed by 11. <laughs> I had such a good sleep. It's freaking what's its name, John? What? Hi, Eyeshot. How are you? Kimmers, thanks for being first, scat. How's it going? How's the weekend? Oak Oak, good to see you. Gonna joke about frames being glued properly to Windows? Oh yeah. Yeah, like why? Just because I updated Windows today, it decided to be a butt. So silly. So hopefully it gets better. Katniss, hope you're good. You like Bon Me? Monster cookies sound like everything but the kitchen sink. Like kind of. I don't know if it's like more a Canadian thing, but it's peanut butter cookie base with M&M's chocolate chips and oats. Bonk, what was your favorite song that you sang last night? You're now seeing a video from your shenanigans last night. Oh, Frank? Yeah, we can blame Frank. This was the other thing that Rando told me though, is there's like a maybe a run, marathon, bike ride. I don't know what it is because I didn't go for my walk this morning. I'm just taking it easy. But yeah, apparently there's like a big run for this city just over in the area. So maybe they're using extra internet for coverage. I don't heckin' know. You didn't go to bed until almost five hours after the stream was over? Holy frick. Yeah, I just like, I popped on our Hearthstone streamer that I usually watch with Samo, just cause that's like our routine, right? So it's in my mind. It's already like in my subconscious that we're getting ready for bed. Yeah, ate all as much snacks that I could before bed just to get my energy good still. Here we are today. It's been a good morning, nice and quiet. Yeah, all of the snacks. Hi, pal, good to see you. Katniss, you're cooking up strawberry blueberry crisp with crushed up cinnamon toast crunch cereal on like in the topping? Yes, please. And then, okay, I'm gonna change the sub goal, but before I did, I just wanted to say thanks for everyone for yesterday. 203 subs out of 100 for the goal that I set. Legends. Absolute legends. Plus like a legendary hitch raid too. That really helped us out as well, didn't it? And a Claire coffee raid, first thing. It was just a really fun day yesterday. Doop, doop. Back to zero. Perfect. Post a pic once it comes out of the oven. Yeah, please do for sure. Okay, so we got some tasty stuff cooking up today. Boom, menu. So beef bon me style bowls. You guys had fun? Hey, if I have fun and you guys have fun, then we know we did a good thing, right? This is what we're making. Super easy, like Sunday lunch. Beef banh mi style bowl. So it's a rice bowl that we're gonna make our own pickled carrots and cucumbers. And then you just quickly cook up some minced beef in a pan, spice it up. And then it has a sriracha mayo to go on top of it. So that's one of our HelloFresh things. And then I think we're gonna make the cookie dough first today so that we can scoop it, let it chill in the fridge for a little bit while we make our banh mi bowl, and then we can bake the cookies. And then I thought it would be really nice to make up a plate 
We still have to taste our brownies from yesterday too. So we'll cut up our brownies while the cookies are baking and we'll make like a cute little kid snack plate. And so I did figure out the video, but in my like looking up stuff yesterday, Greek, I don't know. It's like you can potentially get banned for watching videos like that on Twitch. It's like you need to make sure that like when we're watching it, that we are like commentating on it or something like that, making it our original thing otherwise like i could potentially get banned so i don't know how i feel about it yet i did figure it out how to watch it <laughs> but it's like is it worth it <laughs> so i don't know yet what i want to do maybe not <laughs> what do you think Like we've watched the Maddie videos before on stream and like we're watching it because we're cooking from it. Whereas like the Build Nye video is a little bit different because we're not really like cooking anything from it. We're literally just like watching it for entertainment purposes. Yeah, so the fair use copyright doctrine, exactly bong. So it's like such a gray area and it's like just hard to make a decision. Like I said, for the Maddie videos that we've watched in the past, we have like created our own thing from watching that, right? We have learned what he was doing, commentated on maybe his steps that he took, and then we cooked his recipe after. So we're not just like taking it for my own entertainment to put into the world, right? It's not worth it. That's what I thought too. So I did all my research. I did set up like a scene for the browser if we wanted to do it. Just thought I would let you guys decide, really, or we can chat about it together. Okay, this is such an easy list today. Do the cookie dough. Chill it. Make the beef bon me bowl. Bake the cookies. How's it going today, Cassius? Yeah, possibly take the audio out of the VOD. Well, that's impossible for me to do. I guess they could potentially, like, mute it. But usually that only happens with music. They said like for sure like movies and shows and stuff. You're really getting towards that fine line. But that's okay. It's okay. Okay. Recipes for the day. Linked both of them. Cookies I put first since we're going to make the cookie dough first. Use our stand mixer for that. And then we'll make our HelloFresh dish afterwards. Hope everyone's having a good day so far. How many cookies does this make? Soft baked monster cookies from Sally's Baking Addiction. So happy that I found this recipe from her site too. I've never made it yet. So she says monster cookies, peanut butter cookies with oats, chocolate chips, and M&Ms. My easy monster cookie recipe yields extra soft and thick cookies and you don't need to chill the dough. Oh, what? We can just bake it right away? Okay, I'm in. Commercial value of the original is not diminished. Critique, satire, or education. I was going to use it for an education purpose because we are a food-related stream. And then the episode that we were going to watch is nutrition and all about food. It's like one of my faves. Okay, so let's scroll down. We are gonna make, holy, this is a massive recipe. What? Who lives in Edmonton and needs cookies? Two and a half dozen? The last sentence is my foot in the door, right? Okay. You found different phrasing than some of the sites that I read, I think, Bonk. So thanks for finding that. So they say, Sally says, prep time, 10 minutes to make the cookie dough. Bake time, 20 minutes. Total time, 40 minutes, because we got to let the cookies cool down a little bit too. Uh, I have fond memories going to the grocery store. The one here that my mom always went to when my bro and I were super young was called IGA. I don't know if it's only in Canada or what, but now they've turned to, into Sobeys. But yeah, we always used to be able to go up to the bakery counter at the supermarket and the baker would like give you a cookie out of the case. 
is that still a thing anymore? Cause I would always choose like either a peanut butter cookie or the monster cookie. And like, they are massive. Like Ranu and I were talking this morning. We were like, that was like a full meal when we were young. Grabbing a bakery cookie. Do they do that still? What's up weasel? What's up nerds? Yeah, that, so that's what we talked about too. We're like, I bet it they don't even do that anymore. You had IGAs there? Hi Aki, how's it going? Yeah, this is amazing. No cookie dough chilling required. So stream will go even easier then. Recipe simple and quick. We need, she uses salted butter. I don't have salted butter. So I'll just put a little bit of extra salt in there. Hi boss man, how are you? So butter, brown sugar, white sugar. I got a new thing of peanut butter the other day. I have it upside down because it's only peanuts. So there was like a good thing of oil on top sitting there. So hopefully it's all sort of mixed in, right? Only peanuts. They were all out of crunchy peanut butter. This one was on sale, so ended up getting smooth. But what I did do for the cookies was I bought the M&Ms with the peanuts in them. And then they went one step further. Dark chocolate, milk chocolate, and white chocolate? What? So that's what I'm gonna use. I'm just gonna close the curtain. The sun is shining it up in here already. There we go. Kroger does free fruit for kids while shopping? I would be down for that too. Oh, you had a wedding last night, Aki? Open bar? <laughs> are you hurting this morning? Peanut butter is better than peanut. So they are good bonk, just for the cookie. And to keep the structure in it, I thought that the peanut butter would like go too soft when we bake it. I didn't want to disturb the dough too much. So I chose the full peanuts instead. Trust me, there was a thought process in Walmart. I was standing there. <laughs> Like there's so much choice. We are making cookies today. Hey, you guys got us to 420 sub points yesterday. Nice. Schmarty pans. You gotta think about the stuff. Okay, so we need an egg, vanilla, baking soda, flour, oats, M&Ms. They do semi-sweet chocolate chips. We're just gonna use our Calibo Calais. Okay, I think that sounds like a good plan. Your family is wedding? Which person, if you want to share? I'm going to just pop my hair up and away we go. Can't believe it's already Sunday this week. I always wanted to take an entire prepackaged cookie dough and make a giant cookie. We did something like that in like, what, grade seven, home ec? It was called a cookie pizza. And it was really fun for us to learn and make. So maybe look that up, Weasel. Cause then you just like cut it up like a pie after, right? Little triangle slices. Cookie cake. Or yeah, that too, Katniss. Katniss knows. Okay. Let's go. Let's see first if we have to give this a good stir or not. Your brother is sweet. And yeah, I don't typically choose Kraft. I typically choose like the Adams brand of peanut butter, but this is all they had at Walmart other than their own brand. But since this was only peanuts and it was on sale cheaper than like their own, that's what I got. And yeah, just the thing with natural peanut butters is sometimes the oils separate or all times, let's say the oil will separate. It'll stay at the top here, and then we just gotta mix it back in. And so what I did this morning just to help with mixing, hopefully, was I just turned the jar upside down. Yummo, Katniss. You remember making eggs in home ec and pillows? <laughs> Hate those tops, right, Bonk? Man, 
And yeah, today not not super duper hot out, so this is nice. Just gonna finally balance out this light. It's crazy today in here. And we have a cooker dog. She's all the way back there, right, cooker dog? She's napping all the way back in the hallway. Tired today, Astra. It was a long day, hey? Oh, man. Maybe give her a little peanut butter spoonful, hey? Dog test? Since you didn't really get any snacks yesterday. You made pillows, shorts, sweatshirts, and a duffel bag? Whoa! We only made, like, one thing, pretty sure. We made what's called a quillo. Do you know what that is? It's a quilt that folds like into a pillow. That's what we made. It was like so basic. You guys made crazy stuff. So this is how literally how I stir the oil into the peanut butter. I like kind of chug it. I am my own little mixer right now. I didn't take wood shot, but I should have. I think I would have enjoyed it. Babooji, thanks for the 10 bitlies friend. Hope you're good. And Twitch lover, hello. We're almost there. I just keep doing this until it feels like it's all an even consistency. Really important to do this first thing, because if you don't mix it, then at the end of the jar, you'll like just have hardened peanuts, basically. A paste, not a butter. Seems like not very many people have had monster cookies. Now I'm wondering if it's more of a Canadian thing. In the old people talk, right? Yeah, when I was in school, we cooked and built wood things. <laughs> Think we're almost there. Okay. Yeah, you can lick out the measuring cup when we measure it after. Does that sound good, pupper? And yeah, played with Arc Welder. Samo has like stories like that he's told me before. I was like, what? I've never done that. Get the incarcerum. We haven't used this baby in a while, hey? I'm gonna give her like a little de-dust before we use it. Sheesh. It's been a bit. Hello, Josie. How was your weekend? Lift this up, put that there. Been in that corner for a minute now, Greek. Yeah. Oh. My cords, I think, are over here. Yeah, I did some switching around in here the other day. Testing myself. That. Wait, before we plug this in, I always know that Sally's recipe, she does a lot of stuff by weight. Let's just move the mixer over for now. We'll measure out the ingredients that we need with the scale. Because for whatever reason, it still doesn't want to keep the battery charged there. I'm like almost done with this brand. Just gonna switch back to the Escali one. Pretty annoying. You're working today, Josie? Yeah, a light dusting off should do just fine. Did I make this sideways again? I did. Okay, so we want grams for sure. Yeah, two and a half dozen cookies and they're like massive. Might have to freeze some of these after we bake them. So 115 grams of butter and then we'll just have to soften it in the microwave a little bit. Put Chef Mike to work. 
Oh, you're all done work now though? Nice. Are you having some tasty foods today? A Sunday roast, if you will. Make sure you zero that one too. Oh, something fun that happened on Twitter. If you guys know the streamer Zobo Cat, she also streams in food and drink. Or yeah, 115 grams is like a quarter pound, you're saying, all the sweets? That makes sense, 454 grams. Uh, Zobo Cat tagged me and Hunger Service in the Kitchen League post for TwitchCon. She's like, I want to see Hunger Service and Kate compete. I was like, oh, and everyone's like, yeah. Chicken fajitas later, Numo. I love that stuff in the summer. Tex Mex. One oh nine. So dang close. Bam. That may be interesting to watch, Bonk. Oh, me in LA. I would just let him win. I just like LA so much. <laughs> we would have way too much fun. You only have a Sunday roast when your friends make fun of you. <laughs> Blood Oak. Nice. Palooza, you had chicken tacos for lunch? I also am going to have chicken tacos later. Great minds, think alike. Okay, so we just wanna soften that. We don't necessarily wanna melt it while it is softening. Just gonna grab a spatula. Maybe a couple other ingredients that we need. Toast that fajita after it has to crisp up. So it stays together for dipping. That's true, actually. Okay, so if you get your butter like this, it's okay. You can mix it back up. Just don't let it separate the fat and the dairy. That's when bad things happen to your cookie dough. We almost took it too far though. I should have only done 15 seconds. I'm guessing this is where we're starting. Typically you start by creaming the butter and sugar. I'm <laughs> just like starting the cookies. Yeah, so cream the butter and sugars together. So next up into the mixer, we'll do half a cup of light brown sugar and then a quarter cup of just white sugar. Sugar, sugar. One quarter cup, so we'll do half of this. You don't have a microwave no more? Uh, I think for sure when we go in the truck, we will also not have a microwave anymore. It will be like melting butter on the stove top. One quarter cup of white sugar. Gonna fill that up with our light brown sugar. Everyone else just like taking it easy today. I was up at like eight. Well, we'll be honest, I kind of felt a little bit like hungover this morning when I first woke up. Like my voice was like, did I go to a concert last night? No, I just did a subathon. <laughs> Check's gonna be amazing, Greek. You just know it. I'm getting so pumped. Like, that's seriously why we're doing this sacrifice, Sam and I, together right now with him working away, is so that we can literally just like fast track the build. 
Okay, packed in brown sugar, half a cup. And you don't miss it, Joes. Don't even miss the microwave. It's been over eight months. Nice. There won't be a microwave. We got this one for free anyways. You're like fixing these people's house. And they're like, yeah, we're getting rid of this microwave. Do you want it? <laughs> we're like, okay. So it was bigger than the other one we had. Okay, so we're just gonna quickly cream this up. Oh. I didn't plug it in. Remember the scales only plugged in? That'll be another nice thing about the truck. Having all of the plugs. All of the plugs available. Not just one. Every day I cook on stream is like kitchen league for me. <laughs> Whoopsie. I do that so much. So much Greek. Okay, so creaming means the butter and sugar is gonna get like light and fluffy and aerated. Turn it up and up. I'm gonna crack our one egg that we need just into the container that had the butter. Take the sugars away. See how the mixture is getting lighter in color? That means it's working. Turn this down. Scrape this little nub off the side. And we'll also scrape around the bottom part of the bowl. And let this go just a little bit more. We need more air. There we go. Like the sugar kind of dissolves into the butter. I think that's looking really good. Okay, so I think the egg goes in next or it might be the peanut butter. Let's see what she says. Mix in the peanut butter, egg, and vanilla next. Carses, it's my favorite. There's a reason for it. Just break up the egg a bit, I think, just to get it to mix in and more evenly. And then I'll measure the peanut butter next. Crisp picks in Discord. Okay, thank you, Katniss. I'll check on him when I have a moment or remind me in a bit, maybe. I'm in cookie land right now. Can't stop. Ah, how much peanut butters are in here? Hey Kermit, how are you? Peanut butters, three quarters of a cup. Okay, so we'll just, oh actually, this is why I have this one cup measure. Doggo. What are you doing? She's being antsy. So this thing, this works so good for measuring like peanut butter, honey, etc. Yeah, it's almost your time for the peanut butter spoon. <laughs> so three quarters of a cup. So we will just take a quarter cup away and the rest of this we fill. Mm. 
Oh my gosh. I think we're just gonna pour it. Peanut butter dog. <laughs> What's up? She was sus about it at first. Suppose monster cookies cannot be stored under the bed, Frank says. Yeah, best not to. Could be a little scary at night. Cookie monsters. One of these things, Bonk? Yeah, they are so handy. This one is Pampered Chef, I think. I'm just gonna try and pour this. Is it doable? I think so. There ain't no skimping on peanut butter in these cookies. Yum. Only peanuts. Okay, ready? Just move this over. Pour it in. And then it's like a push pop. It's hard to push at the end because it gets like kind of tapered. Honestly works so good for sticky ingredients. Okay, that's for you too. She's in a peanut butter trance. It's kind of crazy, girl. A push pop. That's the one you have, Bonk? We're twinning. High five. What has more calories, peanut butter or normal butter? Ooh, that's a good question. I don't know. What one is it? Okay, start this up again. Kind of doing a second sort of creaming. Oh. And I'll go grab the vanilla paste. We'll add that in now, too. What, did you get peanut butter on me? Why are you smelling my butt? <laughs> Why are you smelling my butt? Bless you. Just a little dollop. Peanut butter, or sorry, butter has more. She's a dirty dog. <laughs> Every dog's a dirty dog. They're a dog, what do you expect? Turn it up. Turn it up, up, up. Hold the peanut butter measuring cup for dog while we do this. It's getting thick in there. Nice, you get to own a dog this weekend for three days. Dog sitting. Okay, that one's done. Good work. Yeah, good work. I'll give you this one. Okay, let's scrape the sides again. Yeah, you can see some white butter nubbins around the edge there. Okay, a quick break. Oh, you're almost done. Here, take it. <laughs> Leasing the doggo. Yeah, more of a rental. Oh yeah, the crisp, okay. Thanks for the reminder. I'm gonna go look at it right meow. Yum. Yummo. I heckin' love crisp. 
Sometimes I even have it just for breakfast. Hubby tasted it and went, damn, that's good. I like when they do that, hey? Okay. Next one, I think, is the flowers and stuff. Yeah, baking soda and flour next. So we will weigh out the flour, I think. 156 grams. It's like fishing. That cord is really long, actually, for the mixer. Like crazy long compared to like what the KitchenAid cord is. Girl. Yep, you did it. You cleaned it. Good job. Thanks. She didn't even like bite the spatula at all, guys. She was just like flipping it around in her mouth. I thought maybe she would leave like teeth marks. Nope. Did you just say meow? <laughs> Is that from Super Troopers? Okay, all purpose flour, 156 grams. Oh, that's already too much. We're at 197. My bad. Take it away. 175, 157, boom, that's it. And then we'll grab some baking soda too. How much of this goodness? That'll just help the cookies rise up a little bit in the oven, the baking soda. Half a teaspoon only? I do have a half teaspoon measure. Maybe? One quarter. Nice, it does exist. It does exist. <laughs> Blues her nose! Whoa! Kate got a movie reference? Is everyone feeling okay? Yeah, so that's why I really love this food blogger, mostly dessert blogger, let's say, Sally's Baking Addiction, Frank. She gives it in both metric and imperial all the time, so it's very handy. Okay, that's that. And then, yeah, we'll pop this in here, and then right away we'll measure out the chocolates and the oats, and then we're done with the scale. All recipes need to be converted, like basically, right? Whoa. I'm getting messy here and I don't know why. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Avoided the mess. Getting a little crazy there. Okay. M and Emmers. Hundred and fifty grams. This is one eighty five. I just use the whole thing and then do a little bit less chocolate chips. That's my thought. <laughs> NASA has gone metric. There is hope for Americans. That is a thick ass candy shell there. Holy. Has the quality of the coated M&Ms gone down? Back to the chocolate bin. Let's 
So we got 35 more grams of M&M. So we'll do 35 less in the chocolate chips. So 60, 55. No, is that right? go with 60. <laughs> yeah, quality of everything has gone down, to be honest. Josie says, Kate, quick pew. How many HelloFresh meals are you doing each week? Does it say on Discord which are recipes and which are the meals? I haven't been like saying on Discord just because they gave us two full weeks of the meals. So I have like another week coming next week. So we'll probably cook like maybe two more from that box and then that will be it. Just cause like I can't really waste the food if they have offered it for free to us. And, like I have been not minding the streams cooking from the box. Like it's still cooking, right? Just all of the ingredients are like pre measured and weighed out for us. We still have to prep the veggies and stuff though. Okay. Oh, and the oats. Shoot. I guess I'll have to measure that with my cup. Half a cup of quick oats. Phew. Don't forget that one. Yeah, you're welcome. If you want, I can specify in the menu which meals are HelloFresh, if that helps you out. And then, like, you can always just feel free to ask as well in Discord if you're unsure and if I forgot to put it. Just ask the questions. Okay, so we're gonna like half mix in the dry stuff. And then we're gonna mix in the chocolatey ingredients just by hand, cause I don't wanna break the mixer at all. Those are some pretty big chunkers there, those M&Ms. And then Sally did say it's a non-chill dough. You don't have to put the dough in the fridge before we bake it. I think that'll still work. So just on low speed, till it looks like it's getting crumbly, I'm gonna stop there. That's it. That's all the mixing that I'm doing with the mixer. You can get really tough dry cookies if you overwork the gluten too much. So don't do that. Now I'll just use a spatula to mix the rest of this stuff in. Yeah, if you guys are wondering, the tattoos, I did have a shower this morning, like full on. That's how good they still look after the shower the day after. That's really not bad, considering. Yummo. And then I'm gonna scrape around the side of the bowl first too, before we pour the chocolate in. And around the center.
And then it seems like the dough is not too soft, so I guess I will turn on the oven after and we'll get it preheated. Okay, ready? Chocolates. We just mix that in until it's all combined and you don't really see any dry flour bits. And just with using this mixer over time, I know that there's buttery bits that like to stick on the bottom. So that's why I go around and around a couple times, but that's it. Hi, mom, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Brown and I were reminiscing of our IGA trips and going to the bakery and getting a monster cookie. buttery bottom bits. Is that an OnlyFans channel? <laughs> okay, take that away too. Okay, so I'm gonna just make an assumption that the cookies are gonna bake at 350 Fahrenheit, because that's what cookies usually bake at. So let me just rinse my hands because they're all peanut buttered up, and then we'll check. Doesn't look like two and a half dozen worth of cookies, but hey. Yeah, IGA, good times. We said it was like a full meal for us, those big ass cookies that they used to give. Doop, doop, doo. She says, if the dough is like really soft and unmanageable by hand, which I don't think ours is, it's really like, quite firmed up here so I think we're okay but if it is too soft chill it for 30 minutes we're gonna roll these about two tablespoons of dough per cookie ball I was hoping to be able to just use my scoop I think we're gonna make bigger cookies chat you started baking New York City triple chocolate cookies a while back and at this point your friends are very disappointed when you visit or when they visit you and there's no cookies really that's awesome are those like Magnolia Bakery-esque kind of ones? Is that what you're referring to? Let me see the scoop that I want to use. That's bigger. This might be a three tablespoon scoop, but this is what I want to use. I will admit, uh, my husband, Sam, is really good at making cookies. It's like one of his gifts for sure. So it always feels weird when I make cookies because he's usually the one that does. Whoa! Wait, where's my alert box? Stream elements broken? I have my system sounds fully on and the alert box is there. Darth Verbaka, thank you for the raid! Welcome, welcome, welcome into my kitchen or my space that I use as a kitchen. <laughs> How was your stream today? Darth's Diner's lights out. We are here to share love and support for you. That is so nice and generous. Hey, Mary. Hey, Richard. Baked healer. Tex AG for life. Drink more arsenic. Raptor girl. Miss Sarah Lynn. What's going on? Use Jane's Patisserie's recipe for the cookies. Unreal. I'm going to look that up right now because maybe I need to make those in my life too. N-Y-C cookies. And so, Darth, how was it? What did you cook today if that's what you did? If not, please share how your stream went. Would love to hear it. We're just starting out. Tried making a British Sunday roast. Nice, with Yorkies, and it turned out okay. What do you think you can improve on next time? Made all the yummy goodies today, nice. We're gonna like kind of do the same. Yeah, we gotta 
quick and easy Sunday is what we usually do here on my side. So like three hours or less for a stream on a Sunday, let's say, that's what we try and do. So starting with cookie dough, we're gonna bake some monster cookies care of our subathon yesterday. That was one of our sub point goals. <laughs> a bit behind there, but thanks. <laughs> For the Yorkies, you need an actual Yorkie pan. And then switch up the sides. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Stream Elements has uh, decided to wake up. Good morning. <laughs> I honestly, Yorkies are one thing that I still get so stressed out about. And like, I've tried a lot of different recipes of Yorkies too, but it's just like, it's just that thing that sometimes does not work. And like when it doesn't work on stream too, it's so frustrating, right? So I know what you mean when you say like you need a Yorkie pan, because I think I kind of need the same thing. Yeah, right? You and me both. When they just end up being this like dense dough, <laughs> it's not quite the same. But yeah, I have been asked to do a Sunday roast before as well, and I can understand how stressful that was for you today but still you said it was okay obviously everything still turned out edible so good job yeah lots of people try like seriously after cooking in restaurants like making them at that time and everything like sometimes it just does not turn out so remember that Okay, so my mod bunk posted the recipes that we're cooking today. Just a little bit up in chat there. Just two recipes and then one of them is a HelloFresh meal. So it's super simple. A beef banh mi style rice bowl with quick pickled veggies on there. A sriracha sort of mayo. That's part of our quick and easy Sunday. So the US version is a popover. I would assume that's what we call it here, bonk. Yorkshire. Yorkshire pudding or a popover. Okay, so we're about to scoop our big old cookies. Let's maybe take a sheet pan first and line it with a silicone mat or parchment. Bam. And then we also get to try brownies today with the cookies, because yesterday we baked Charlie brownies from the Peanuts cookbook. Hello, I am certain. You're just scared of screaming hot pan grease? Yeah, that too, Mary. Basically terrifying, right? Your body knows, it senses the heat, and it's like, ooh, I'm kind of scared. <laughs> Yeah, the batter for popovers is like quite fluid, it's true. Pretty hard to make really nicely. Like I would love to see Ramsey make a popover and see what he does. Makes everything look easy though. Oh, that was the one other thing. Our oven temp. The oven temper, 350F. Really, really typical baking temp for the oven. Just gotta take my sourdough loaf out. Was keeping it from drying out in there. Does anyone else do that? Perfect, so that will heat up. We'll scoop these. Yeah, if there's like one thing I would love to learn from Ramsey, it's the popovers. Okay, so if there's like extra goodies around the scoop, just kind of trim them off around the side. And then I was thinking of doing this, maybe two, three by four. We'll see what we end up with. Yeah, yeah, that's actually one that we haven't done on stream yet, Greek. And we've talked about it quite a bit. Scotch eggs. Thanks for bringing that into my memory.
Yeah, for sure, Bledo. You found a video of Ramsey making Yorkshire puddings. Post it up. Katniss, your mom kept all of her cookies and bread in the microwave? Okay, I'm not alone. <laughs> yeah, lovely scoops of ice cream. Just pop it right in your mouth, bonk. Something satisfying about using this to scoop your cookie dough, right? I know that's what Christina Tosi from Milk Bar does. And I think that's why I also do it. Because when I was the pastry chef at the brew pub, I got a lot of my inspiration from the way that she baked. And well, we can learn a thing from people like that. Kind of like copycat, right? If it works for them, it could work for us too. Okay, so we will need another tray. So I think I'm going to spread out the cookie dough balls a little bit more because they are really big. They're really big. Just I have experience. If you load up your cookie tray with too much dough, they're just going to spread out and not bake nicely. Uh, Gordon's Apprentice, or are you thinking of David Chang's Apprentice? Because that's who I was talking about. Christina Tosi from Milk Bar. Okay, so I'm going to pick that up. I think we'll just keep these ones like two by two, and we'll put six cookies on the tray. Yeah. Very large. Nice, crispy, chewy edges on the cookies. I think that's going to happen. The other Christina? Oh, Gordon's. Do they both have Christina's? That's funny. Are we going to get a dozen large cookies? This is amazing. She even won Hell's Kitchen. Samo probably knows more than me because he's watched all of those. I've only seen a couple. Okay, we're gonna get like just under a dozen. So the smaller one will be a test one for us, I think, even though I didn't leave any M&Ms in it. So that's a chef snack, if you will. Still put it on the sheet pan, just we gotta remember to take it off a little bit earlier than everything else. Otherwise, it'll overbake. Really nice dough, though. Like, it doesn't even stick to my mixing bowl. Hey Clem, how are you? An exceptional pastry chef? Unreal, Vicky. Thank you for the full one year of subscribing, being part of the kitchen crew, friend. I hope you're having a great day. We are hopefully getting closer to unlocking some more VIP badges for all of our one year subscribers. So Yay! stay tuned, friend, because that's what we usually do as an incentive. Whoa, thanks for the 1200 bits too. Now at 37% of the way through our San Diego Eats. You guys are crushing me. Clem, you're good. You want some cookies? Put that little piece in there too. Bam. Almost got a full dozen. Just gonna wash my hands up so you don't put peanut butter everywhere. And then we're gonna start to organize ourselves for lunchy.
Let's just put away the eggs and the butter, the baking soda, the chocolate. Hi, girl. Gotta go check? Okay. I'll see you later. She's making her rounds. The cooker dog. Hopefully next year when we get a partner spotlight, we can unlock the extra slots. Or yeah, we happen to be on front page. Thanks for that reminder, actually. I'm gonna email them this week and ask for a spot. For any time, really. Do we wanna do something special for front page? If we get it? Because sometimes they'll give you the slot if you have like something special going on on your stream that day already. Hmm. Something to think about, for sure. A subathon? Maybe, yeah. Do it for like next month. Maybe right before we like leave for TwitchCon. September 30th. Just making sure that doesn't get too warm there. Okay, cookie bin. Done with that. Or a chocolate bin, sorry. Used a good amount of chocolate in these last two days here. Cook with Sammy? Oh yeah, Samuel should still be here. <laughs> I wouldn't do that to him. He already doesn't love cooking on the camera. <laughs> A sponsored stream? Well, yeah, I'm hoping that that company for the Canadian appliances will message me back this week, Mary. Get the next one rolling. Just gonna move these over while I unpack our bag. I like to do it together. So we got 500 grams of lean ground beef for our bon mi bowl. Fresh, fresh cilantro. Not the best, but also not the worst. There's like a couple brown yellow bits in there, if I'm being picky. Whoa, I am not used to getting mayo like this. Mayo for our sriracha mayo. Fresh-ish, <laughs> totally. What else do we got? Whoa, sesame seeds, probably for like garnish. Rice vin, probably for the pickles. Two packs of hoisin sauce, let's go. That's like five bucks right there from the store. I love this. Okay, turn it around. Sriracha in a little pack. Unreal, put that with the mayo. Vinegars together. Two packs of rice. This is how they pack everything Greek. Our carrots, so they're already julienned, let's say. We just have to pickle them. And then they sent, so that's kind of a good portion, like one cucumber each per person to pickle. And then lastly, I don't know what that is, maybe to cook the beef. It's unlabeled, so I guess we'll read the directions. Yeah, for the just the sriracha alone. Actually, I saw at our like dollar store here, mass amounts of sriracha. So yeah, if you don't find it in the grocery store, go to the dollar store. Can you work as a processing chef for HelloFresh, like butchering, cutting veggies, etc.? 
in my mind, I'm thinking that they are like outsourcing all of that stuff Greek. Like they are sourcing that from larger companies that do all the packaging for them. Like for example, the sesame seeds, maybe coming from like a McCormick kind of factory, but then they're just packing it for HelloFresh like that, right? I don't really know, maybe look it up. Oven's hot and ready, so I'm gonna pop the cookies in. Because these are quite large, I think they'll probably take closer to 15 minutes to bake. She says 11 to 13, so yeah. Just be aware of that. I will set a 10 minute timer and we'll check on them. Okay, I'm just going to take a really quick bathroom break actually and then I'll be right back. Like co-packing agreements, I guess, hey? Okay, hold tight. Hello, I am back. <laughs> Bunk, wait, where'd she go? <laughs> Great, it's getting warm in here. It's heating up. <laughs> Just gonna guess that Kate went for a pee break. Okay, while we're waiting, let's grab this. So this is how our bowl should end up looking like. So dang easy, we're gonna prep says add a quarter cup of water and some salt to a medium pot and I think this is for the rice so I'm just gonna cook the rice how I like to cook it that's kind of fair right so I'll just remember that so they say to cook the rice first okay after that they say to chop the cilantro I don't know why we wouldn't do that like later on though because the cilantro is only used as a garnish, so I would save that to get prepped up with the sesame seeds, right? Like, this is how I streamline this even more for myself, so I can do it even quicker. And then they say to combine the mayo and sriracha in a small bowl and set aside. So, like, to me, these things should be done, like, later, because they're really quick and easy do all the cooking things first, especially like get your pickles ready. Like why are we doing pickles at step three when those should be sitting like the longest, right? So we're gonna pickle the veggies first, then we'll get the rice cooking, and then we will do our garnishes, cook the beef, and that's the rice bowl. Where does this go? What is this? Soy sauce is what this is. So the hoisin and the soy sauce, and then half of the sesame seeds go in with the beef. Okay. Got it. Make your little piles on the side. Hi, Brick Lane. And brother Samo. So Sam's my husband. <laughs> just, just so you know. If you want to call him your bro, though, that's fine. But I do live 
on the property with my actual brother. Just sometimes it can be confusing if people pop in and out. Pumped that they gave us Jasmine Race though for this. Okay, you do know. Perfect. Uh, Sam's not here. Sam ain't here, friend. He will be back in like just under five weeks from now. This is what they say. We're gonna whisk together vinegar. We're gonna grab some water and then a little bit of sugar. And that is our quick pickle, Brian. We don't even heat it up at all. You just place it in the fridge all together. Just looking at a container to put all this stuff in together. Guys, the cookies are like not spreading out at all. <laughs> Do I have to flatten them a bit? Let me use this. Sam is probably like in chat. So he is away working up in like very far Northern Canada. He is able to sometimes watch the stream, but is not able to chat with just the internet service there. Okay, so there's the vinegar. I'll just grab some sugar and then we need water. Yeah, we might have monster muffins, seriously. What, my timer is gonna go off in four minutes. I think we'll just give them a little press down. And I was worried about them going pancake cookies. There we go, I guess. Have no fear. Like half a cup of water. Like we definitely need enough water to submerge all this stuff, which is like the most important. So that, and then they say like one tablespoon of sugar. It's green box box, hello. Just measure it into my palm. One tablespoon of sugar. It's Samo's mom. I think I'm gonna mix the sugar with the water first just to dissolve before we add the vinegar. You guys remember doing this in science class? Yeah, speaking of Samo, learning about like super saturated compounds and stuff like that, or was that chem? And then this is rice vinegar. It's actually a really nice vinegar to use for pickling these veggies. So they do use the right stuff. Whoa. I had like a big breakfast this morning, but my stomach's already growling. Not so. Okay, so we'll get the carrots in and then you might have to take a break just to switch the cookies around. There's two minutes left before we slice the cucumber. And this is very similar to like how a banh mi is, right? These pickled veggies, one of my favorite parts. I even have some pickled jalapenos in the other fridge. Maybe I'll put that on mine and my bros because we like spicy stuff. Although we do have the sriracha. So like, let me ask this. How is this? I'm going to submerge the cucumber as well. Just, just asking for a friend. And like, I put more water than what they called for. I don't know. Even pre-shredded. This one is probably the easiest one yet. How are you gonna fit the cucumbers in there? They'll just be like sticking out of the top. Okay, check this out. I 
<laughs> I don't know what to say, Greek. <laughs> Hi. I have made cookie muffins here. They really have not spread out at all. <laughs> if you want to see me in the camera. So I'm just going to take my spatula. Give them a little press. Oh, the melted chocolate coming out. A little wiggle press is what I'm doing there. Otherwise, that center is not really going to cook or bake at all. Whoa. Whoa. And the way the chocolate came up through the spatula. <sighs> They are big cookies. What happened, boss man? We're just too dang good at making cookie dough. Considering it's not even uh, been chilled. I'm too good. Ouch, don't touch the sheet pan, it's hot. <laughs> Hot things are hot, we always say in the kitchen. What do we think, is this one done? I don't even think that one's done. That was the small one. That was the small buy. Okay, back in. Oh, chef snack right there. Mmm, I heckin' love peanut butter cookies. Yeah, there's some girth to those. <laughs> yeah, not these ones. I'm loving this recipe. Okay, so I'm gonna do for sure five more minutes. Yeah, when you get the Subway cookies heated up. What does she say? Says the cookies will look a little bit soft when you take them out of the oven and that's how they should be because they will firm up as they cool back off noted 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 okay five minutes i think that is enough time for us to slice this let's tip in top our baby cucumbers And then we can just do like really cute little rounds. One thing about slicing cukes like this, I know they like to roll around. My knife is scary sharp. That's what we did. That's what we did last week. Made me scared of my knife again. See? Just rolled right off the board. Gone forever. Said peace. Yeah, use the deli slicer for the four cucumbers. People come in, they're just like, what? <laughs> uh, should we just do a meme stream like that? Just do the most ridiculous stuff with like all of our awesome equipment. <laughs> No, that one left us too. That one too. Three casualties. RIP. Yeah, the mandolin. Mandolin would be easier for these small little guys. <laughs> we cut this one in half. It just cannot be. We'll have to eat it. Sharp knife, 
way easier than a dull knife and yeah it hurts less sometimes you don't even feel it you just look down and it's like whoa i'm bleeding <laughs> I guess we'll just kind of mix, keep mixing this up. I don't know what else to do. Weirdest quick pickles I've ever made. Do y'all know what you're making in your recipes? Just asking for a friend. <laughs> yeah, take your fingertip off and you wouldn't even know. <laughs> R.I.P. Okay, I'm gonna wipe off the board. I think I'm gonna get our rice set up on this side as well. You can start cooking that and then you can take care of our garnishes. Put the rice to this side just to cool off a bit. And then we can cook the meats. Put this infographic over here. The Midnight Angel, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome. Yeah, asking for a friend, please, Greek. <laughs> Are you the one? Okay, so you gotta chop the cilantro still. We gotta make sriracha mayo. And then we use hoisin, soy sauce, and sesame seeds to cook the meat. There's quite a bit of rice here. What I have been doing is just pouring it out. Or actually it says, so three quarters of a cup. So there would be just under two cups there. So then we'll need like just under four cups of liquid, right? Remember you cut your finger with your sharpest knife in your knife bag? Friend told you your blood is dripping on the floor. <laughs> Didn't even feel it. Crazy. That's what happens though. I think I was meant to set a five minute timer and it went for 15. So I'm checking the cookies again. They're definitely feeling soft. I'll do two more minutes and then turn the oven off. I'm glad I caught that. I mean, I always kind of have my internal timer going. Yeah, just in the center a bit, but they should come out a little bit under, is what she said. Or at least like feeling like they are underdone. Holy Brick Lane. So I have a funny like culinary school story about that too, is my good friend Hannah. She was like, she couldn't even see blood. Like, didn't matter whether it was her own or someone else's. So, like, one of the first weeks, she ended up cutting herself accidentally, too. Like, both of us had really good knives. And then she's like, I really need your help, like, right now. If you don't help me, I, like, might pass out. I was like, holy shit. So, yeah, we, like, went over to the side and, like, I dressed her all up and stuff. But she's like, I can't do this on my own. Like, you need to help me. And then, like, she had to go sit for, like, about 15 minutes just outside of the class so she didn't faint. It's like, wow, that's wild. Okay, that was one minute, I'll do one more. So I'm gonna pour the rice into the pot. I don't know if you guys can see over there, not really. I guess I can pop it on the side here for now and then just move it. We're gonna pour the rice into the pot and then we're gonna like toast it. That's how I like to cook rice. You can't stand it either, Blood Oak. Yeah, I don't know. I think she just got a little bit better as it went on Brick Lane. 
But yeah, when she first started in school, right? Oh, it was rough. You've tucked the fatty bits back into the wounds and super glued them? Oh my god, Pell. I've never been, like, hurt like that before. Knock on wood, massively. But yeah, cuts and stuff like that, not a, really a thing for me. That's another minute before I go anywhere. Yeah, I'm gonna turn that oven off. And then I'll just let the cookies cool in there it's all good okay i'm just gonna go grab like three and a half cups of water for the rice those were some of the easiest cookies i've ever made chat if you have a kid that likes peanut butter make those I think I need a little bit more water even. Yeah, I've never even gotten like stitches. There, now I feel better. Okay, let's also grab a spoon so we can stir the rice up a little bit. And then you will want a lid for the rice pot for sure. Crank that baby. Boom, boom. That's our little setup. Yeah, super glue. Do that when you cut your thumb during rush hour service. Yeah, I remember like when I was working in the restaurant, I'd always have these like very minuscule little cuts on my fingers. Yeah, with the salt. Salt or acid, find those. Ouchie. Beautiful coloring and browning, I have to say, on these. They really look perfect. I can't wait to try this. Just made the house smell really good too, right? Yum. Yeah, even got like a nice little crackle from smooshing them. I'm pretty stoked. Hello, is there any toasting happening? Okay, since there's not really toasting happening yet, I'm just gonna pick the cilantro on the side and pick it off of the stem, get it prepped for chopping. Oh, I might have to actually, Mary. I only had one coffee today. I didn't want to push it and have two and like be a little bit shaky on stream today. But maybe I'll have like, make a little decaf for myself or something. An iced coffee. That could be good. Listen to C is for Cookies by Cookie Monster. It's a nice song. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, those are the cookies that really remind me of the Cookie Monster, too. Doesn't really look like anything's toasting yet, so we'll just let that chill. Okay, there are some not so nice pieces of cilantro. Just pick those out right off the bat. I call those the cancer, because then they just make all the other bits start to go bad. You're having mint green tea today, Kat? Nice. What do I have? I have like chai, Earl Grey, chamomile, matcha. Couple other ones from my friend's company. Is this stove even on? It is. It's a cast iron burner, so you're not going to see like any glowing element. It's cranked. And like the burner itself is like quite thick. Like, a good quarter inch thick, so 
it's just working on heating up that element but then when it is hot this one's not on so this one's not on that's for the other small one the large one is on over here though if i move my thing a bit more i think you see the light right there <laughs> thanks for checking though Yeah, so Kat, I picked the M&M's. I picked the peanut butter M&M's. Or sorry, the peanut M&M's. And then the pack I chose, they were a mix of dark chocolate, milk chocolate, and white chocolate. And then we did the like Calibo chocolate chips in there too. Earl Grey with the cookies? I know, something about like the peanut butter, right? That might be really good together. Oh, I see some toasting now. We're turning it up. So when the rice kernels turn like white, rather than translucent, that's how you know that you're toasting it up. And usually I wait for like half of the rice to look toasted before I pour the water in. I'm glad I looked over a little peek. I think right now I'm also just gonna give these another toss just to help them pickle a little bit more evenly. Pickled veggies. Okay, ready, I'm gonna stir this up one more time and then when we pour the water, it should really sizzle. Nice, pal. You go enjoy. Just like that. And then we're gonna put the lid on. I think it's in the dishwasher. I gotta grab it. Yeah, have a good nap, Palooser. I don't know if we'll be here when you come back. I do not know. Oh, touched a little thing. There we go. Okay, so you put the lid on and like I keep that on high heat until it comes back up to a simmer and then we'll turn it down to like medium. Yeah, the stove is on. Crisis averted. If you got the M&Ms that are the mix of regular peanut, peanut butter, caramel, cookie, pretzel. Oh, like just literally get every variety. The ultimate monster cookies. Okay, just gonna put this to the side. I will keep my eye on it. Let's chop the cilantro so it doesn't dry out. And then we'll put it into a container. Where my cilantro haters at? My soap lantro. That looks good to me, guys. Don't have to go super fine for this. <laughs> there you are, alley bug. Add a knob or two of butter. I usually keep my rice like very basic and low fat, especially if we're putting like a bunch of different condiments on it. But I feel ya. Could also do like coconut oil I sometimes do. But yeah, typically I do just a dry toast if we're like making a rice bowl. Cause then all the other flavorings are gonna season the rice. Especially with the mayo. But that is a really good suggestion. Like me growing up, 
eat my plain rice with like a good nub of butter on it. So dang delicious. Fat is flavor. And fat is good for you too. I will say that. Fat is not bad. So cover this up and then I'm just gonna put it in the fridge. Our rice is starting to come up to a simmer. I'm just gonna pop the lid a touch and turn it down one notch. Hi, Scooter. How's the day going? Went to Chipotle once and it was so unfortunate. Put cilantro in the rice. Yep. Yeah, there's cilantro lime rice. They don't mess with the rice at like, we have mucho burrito here in Canada. They don't mess with the rice there. They keep it nice and plain. Okay, just gonna wipe the board and my knife and then we'll make our sriracha mayo next. It's going suits. How am I? I'm doing good. Honestly, after yesterday, thought I would feel like more tired. So seems like the 10 hour subathon streams are it. That is the ticket. And yeah, it's not too hot here today, so that's also been quite enjoyable. Not just roasting my whole butt off. Am I going for F1? What you mean? It's okay, Scoots, if you couldn't make it. Yeah, we had crazy fun yesterday. It was wild. Am I enjoying HelloFresh? Thought about doing it several times, just haven't taken the plunge. I actually am. Like... I've been sponsored by them for this month. So all of August and mostly just for like Canada. My codes are for, so if you're in Canada, by all means, here, I'll just pop the code up for you right there. And I think that the meals are worth it with the discount. If you were to pay like full price for them, I don't know if the meals would be fully worth it. I do like the fact that like, you don't have to go grocery shopping. You don't have to go to the store and maybe not find the ingredients you need for what you're gonna cook. Stuff like that, right? Save time, maybe money, but yeah. If you have to pay full price for it, I don't know if it'd be worth it. Nice thing about it though, is there's always codes online. Like it's either 20 meals for free or 50% off. You get to drive up to your grandma's 80th birthday? Cute. You do it on and off. Sometimes it's hard to find the good produce there. Yeah, so you'll get like the HelloFresh box instead. Nice. And so Brick Lane, coming up as far as like Formula One goes, Sam and I talked about it before he left. We're not going to be watching any of the races until he is back and then we'll catch up together. And so that also makes sense. Like you pay a little bit extra for convenience, right? Because they're doing all the organizing so that you don't have to. The energy all comes from somewhere, right? Okay, I've turned my rice down. It's just happily simmering along. Let's just grab a little container to mix this up. Basically, you squeeze both of the things in here and good to go. <laughs> this feels so funny for like a mayo pack. That's true as well, right, Scooter? Nice and quick for a meal. Like if you work late during the week, but you still need to eat and you don't want to just go out and buy fast food. Like I have not been trying to cook this meal quickly. And I think we're almost done. Like I definitely cook the meals quicker if I'm not streaming. Cause I cook a couple of them during the week for us when I'm off. Hey, I think that's as much mayo as I'm gonna get out of there. Let's 
Next one's Srirachas. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to mention that one too, Scoots. Yeah, you can get the recipe cards and people have suggested like hole punching them and making a little binder. Like I've kept all of them that they've sent over the week. So I have like so many now, right? They are also all online if you're more of a minimalist and like to just keep things bookmarked. <laughs> Greek, don't laugh at my mail pack. <laughs> And yeah, they do have vegetarian ones. Oh, nice. Yeah, so if you just like add your own protein to that, maybe that would be worth it. Good idea. Yeah, it's like a 20 minute meal in real time, not Kate stream time. So just for the amount of sriracha for the mayo, we're only gonna use one of the packs. I don't know why, but I see this being very spicy already. Unless it's not actually Sriracha brand. I don't know, let's see the color when we mix this. It's like there is a limit to when you just like, you can only taste the spice and nothing else. Well, Sriracha is like a chili garlic sort of hot sauce. So you should be able to taste the garlic a bit too. You do that too, Scoots, and then you save the extras for camping? Good one. Some of the srirachas aren't very spicy. Let's see. Weirdest mayo ever. I should have just used my own. We're gonna use the second pack because it doesn't taste like anything. <laughs> The mayo almost tastes like it's like close to being rancid. You know how like an rancid oil tastes? That's what I got from the first taste of the mayo. Not good. We have to like add our own more hot sauce to this because it's not spicy enough. It's like getting better, but that ain't no sriracha that I've ever tasted. The color looks great. Looks can be deceiving though. Okay, that's our garnishes. Look, our rice is almost done. We'll bring this over. Just keep that there, really. So all of those little air pockets that we see, that's exactly what we want. Sir, I just steamed your own face. And yeah, we're just waiting for all of the moisture to cook out of there. And then we'll cook our beef next. I'm gonna go quickly wash up the frying pan. Okay, so the mayo was in the fridge, Blood Oak. Like the whole paper bag that I unpacked, all of that was in the fridge. But yeah, it already seems like it's maybe getting towards the point of being bad. I don't know. Actually, I think I gotta wash this larger pan even. The big old cast iron is what we need. Chad, I've been slacking a little bit on the dishes. I hope you understand. Get it soaking real quick. Never use a colander when cooking rice? Wait, like you're saying people strain their rice after cooking it? Hey Dust, 
How's the day? Welcome in, my dude. You did miss the cookies. They're cooling off now. We'll taste them after we have some lunch. Okay, I see a little bit of water still under there. Let it keep going. <laughs> Uncle Roger will chew you out. Hi, Colin. How's the weekend? More rain dust? Awesome. Get that drought gone. Okay, that pan is soaking. Give it a little scrub-a-dub-dub -dub here when this is done. Dust is making me want to eat the cookies. I'm not going to have dessert before lunch. I'm going to be good. Yeah, you're supposed to use enough water for the rice to absorb. Wait, she washed the rice after cooking it? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> that sounds a bit scary. Okay, dryness on the bottom. Put that back. What we're gonna do, since this is basically done, we're gonna turn it off, put the lid on it, and then we're gonna take it off of the hot burner set. I think I'll just probably pop it in the oven to stay warm, honestly. And so then what this will do, putting the lid on and then taking it off of the heat, is there is a little bit of residual moisture and it's gonna fluff up the rice. You'll see when we go plate it up later, it won't be like a very moist, sort of sticky, heavy rice. It'll be really nice, separate rice kernels. Well, that is good. Bam. Turn that off. We'll set up the induction next for our beef. And away we go. Mary, you're trying to help hubby. He's prepping ribs. Get everything together to put it on the smoker. Now you're in the bedroom. You're hiding out. Nice. Isn't banh mi supposed to be crispy rice on the bottom of the bowl? Yeah, that's bibimbap. Banh mi is the Vietnamese sandwich. So they have taken inspiration from the sandwich to make this rice bowl. Yeah, watch Nigella like all the time, right? Me too. You guys have really good food knowledge though, like I will say. Very proud of you. Ha ha ha, Mary. I can't watch Kate. I can't watch him prep it. He's messy as heck. <laughs> Does he do his own cleanup after? clean up because <laughs> it still won't be the same as when it started okay just gonna go give a little scrub it up on our pan and then we'll finish cooking we're not even at the two hour mark yet what we made cookies and lunch dishwashing asmr That was really easy to clean. Beautiful. That's why I love cast iron pans. Basically just a wipe out. That was too dang easy, chat. Like that pan was sitting there for like probably four days. It's Vune! <laughs> yeah, hey Kate, bye, see you! <laughs> How are you? Out to do some house stuff, K Scoots. Thank you for hanging with us. 
Holy brick lane, almost 4 a.m. Go get some rest, friend. Thanks for hanging out here. Uh, menu planning and gaming stream tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. If you guys are, don't know what to do with yourself on Mondays, well, we're back. We are back, and I'm pumped. Yeah, like me last night, after a 10 hour subathon stream, this place was pristine. Like when I went to bed so that I could wake up and I didn't even have to think about doing any of that stuff. So simple, so good. Just had dinner, honey glazed salmon with Japanese short grain rice. What is like with just a salmon rice bowl? That is so good. Like the fat from the salmon soaks into the rice. I think I like salmon and rice more than butter and rice. Okay, that. We got our boofs. And what do they say? Heat a large nonstick pan over medium high heat. Add a little bit of oil, then the beef. Cook it. Add the hoisin, soy sauce, half of the sesame seeds. Oil of choice. I'm gonna use grape seed. I'm also gonna come over with a little bit of black pepper. And I think that's it. Cause there should be good flavor from the hoisin and the soy sauce, right? You tried salmon last night for like the first time ever and it was too fishy. Can I ask what type of salmon was it? Cause that also matters. Yeah, salmon is not fatty at all. Shh. Yeah, super locale. But like, if you're gonna eat a fatty cut of meat, chew salmon. That was my favorite, favorite treat ever when I was doing my bodybuilding training was my salmon rice bowl days. Holy frick. Give me all of the fats. So medium high heat, do that, open this up. Yeah, salmon, well, there are varieties. Like I find sockeye is the strongest and maybe pink salmon. Samo on rice? <laughs> no, salmon. <laughs> it was just called fresh Alaskan salmon. That's kind of sus to me that they didn't say like what variety. Like sockeye to me is the lowest. And then you can go like pink salmon next coho and then what greek said chinook is like the highest grade and then you have atlantic salmon which is even more mild but more fatty so most hot this is gonna splatter like crazy isn't it if i know how this goes yeah, like Chinook and Coho is what I caught when I was on the island, when it was Zach and his fam. Zach, his dad, and his grandpa. So three generations of fishermen took me out. And it was honestly, I'll never forget that experience. Amazing part of living there. And like leaving to go fishing at like three in the morning. <laughs> I was like, you're joking. Zach's like, no, I'm not. I was like, okay, I'll be up then. Oh, it said it was fresh Atlantic salmon and it was too fishy. So that is telling me that it was farmed. Because farmed fish, I find, has a very off flavor to what fresh fish is. That's why I don't buy fish where I live anymore. 
because most of it that we can get in the store is all farmed and I just can't do that. I'd rather just not have it at all. Okay, start breaking up the meats. This is a lean ground beef. You don't wanna pile it up, you wanna be able to like spread it out. Ouch. And it will splash at first. Just the moisture of the meat in the oil. Sizzle kisses. <laughs> That's what we call this. Sizzle kiss. Okay, ow! And it'll maybe pop on your hand, so careful. Just gonna go wash up. We don't wanna cross contaminate. So mean all the time. Like, pan searing stuff is my least favorite. So dang dangerous. My poor little pinky finger. It's never gonna be the same. <laughs> Let's kind of mush this up a bit, try and spread it out. But I'm not gonna stir it. I'm not stirring it. I'm just kind of cutting it up a touch. I'm gonna turn up the heat actually one more notch, so we're at 360 Fahrenheit. Next up, I'm gonna crack the pepper over all of this. And then maybe we can think about stirring. Oh, you're from Wisconsin. So yeah, I live like in the prairies now compared to before, so I feel ya. You don't like any freshwater fish? Do you not have like perch there? That's my favorite. That is like one of the nicest white fish ever. Okay, I'm gonna grab my kitchen shears just to cut open the hoisin and the soy sauce packs. Yeah, and rainbow trout, exactly, Gree. Okay, let's stir this up so I can tell that it's like built up a nice crust underneath. Yeah, beautiful. Because browning will give us more flavor. Let me just break up the meat bits a little bit more, I think. There we go. Okay, I think I'll start sprinkling the sesame seeds over just half. For a lean ground beef, this actually seems like quite fatty. There's always a lot of fat left in the pan afterwards. Our soy sauce, so that's our salt component here, which is why we haven't added any salt to the meat at all. What'd you make for brekkie bonk? Wait, did you make potatoes, O'Brien? We're making like a glaze now, let's say. A glaze of sorts. I'm gonna use one pack of hoisin. I'm gonna wait on the other one. No, you didn't? Ah, oh. Just because I know you've made that before for your brunch. Hey, Ruru too. How are you? Poison sauce. <laughs> no, hoisin. 
maybe for you, Crux. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's like, wow, Kate, why? So mean. <laughs> Me and Greek, we died. Okay, there's so much fat in here. He's not making like a glaze at all. The hex. I think we're gonna stop there. I'm gonna try a little piece and then I'm gonna have to use a slotted spoon to plate the beef up. Cause there's like that much fat in the pan. Do you see it? It's like swimming and I didn't put that much grape seed. Cheddar ham omelet with cinnamon raisin bagel. You had one too. Too hungover even for Benny. Yeah, don't say hollandaise. Mmm, the flavor is banging though. Reno, how are you? That's money though, chat. That's really good. Okay, I'm just gonna put that to the side. Get rid of the burner. And then we're plating. We did it. I just gotta grab the cilantro from the fridge. Fat is flavor, but yeah, that's a bit excessive. Yeah, when can we download meals from Twitch? Just asking for a friend. <laughs> Imagine. Let's wipe this off too. If I zoom out, there is a lot of splatter on there. Yeah, we got to start with smell vision first. <laughs> yeah, if fat is flavor, then this dish must be the best tasting ever. <laughs> Suki, bon me in the form of a rice bowl. Care of HelloFresh. How's your Sunday going? Yeah, Reno, I'm freaking tasty. <laughs> That's what we have said in the past, Alleybug, is like, okay, chat, but you do know, if you have smell of vision you get all of the smells. That means the good and the bad. <laughs> Careful what you wish for. Rice. Whoa, I can't even take the pot out of here, it's so dang hot. Really stays warm in the oven there. Okay, we're gonna have to open this up. Accidental dog tooth? Yeah, or a not nice lamb leg. Yuck. Okay, look. Look at our fluffy races. Told you. She left us Greek. She went to go hang out with Randall. Okay, this, our quick pickled veggies, however that ended up. Maybe you need some like salt in there though. I think we need to mix some salt in here first. It's really missing something there. I got a bit of sweetness. No more cooker dog. I'm a pro rice cooker. That's the first time ever anyone said that to me. So thank ya. And I always cook my rice like that. It, I got inspired from eating like Indian food and how their basmati rice is always really like fluffy. So then I just Googled it. Like, how do they do it? And they always toast the rice kernels first and then you more like boil it rather than a simmer. So it cooks quicker. Okay, so yeah, definitely needed salt in those. Our favorite bowls for plating. I mean, she might be at the door. Let's see. She might be laying right in front. Sometimes she does that. 
I think she's really tired after like streaming with us almost all day yesterday, right? <laughs> Such a good cooker dog. Yeah, I think she's taking a break today. Okay, so rice in the bowl first. I will do a pile of the veggies. Like, look at this. This is why I cook rice that way. It's so nice. Kind of fluff it up in there. Yummo. I think veggies next and then pile the beef on top of that. It is long green jasmine rice. Great guess. Okay, so we're gonna like lift up a pile of this. Put it on like one side of the rice. Lots of veggies for the amount of like portions here. I will say that's like a fair amount for four people. Very refreshing as well for summertime. Next one, just gonna come over to this side to scoop the meats since we're gonna try and strain out a bit of the fat. And then I didn't use both packs of the hoisin, so there is an option to pour more over top when we plate, if you want. It is looking so good already, though. That's what you have, that's what you like. Me too. We bought Basmati a bit ago just because it was on sale. But if I had a choice, and I know Sam knows this, I would choose Jasmine. That, we're almost there. Let's do, just move this over, I think. Next thing, our dollop of, not the spiciest, sriracha mayo. I'm just gonna do like right in the center over here. That should moisten the rice nicely. Maybe a touch more. I don't really understand the mayo sauce with this, but hey, haven't tried it yet. I'm not gonna be that picky yet. You like the sushi rice too? So now we're gonna sprinkle our sesame seed again. They gave us lots of that too. And then lastly, cilantro. It's like a taco rice bowl. It's definitely not the most like bon mi-esque. Some of the components are, I guess. Nice colors, I will say that. Looks really fresh and healthy, right? Oh no, <laughs> Finkel. Can't wait to see Sam inhale this. Sucks to be you, cause you will not get that in your life today. Nor for the next five weeks, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm just gonna take a quick photo light up my life here. There ain't no Sammy in sight. I mean, maybe he sees me, but he can't chat. He's basically at the North Pole working hard so that we can build the truck up coming up. So 
yeah, send him kind words if you're thinking about him. Let him know that you miss him, because I miss him too. That's a nice photo. That turned out. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna bring this dish to my broski. I'll be back. His pure joy is like your favorite part of all these meals. I know, he's such a good eater. That's also like one of my favorite parts. It's like cooking for people and then just seeing them smash the food. Hi Blackmore, how are you? Yeah, bon me. usually a healthy layer of mayo and pate. True, true. Yeah, it looks tasty, right? Pretty balanced. Okay, I'll be back. It's Ostra. Ostra made it. Okay, let's try this out. Hey, Yumel. How was your day today? This dish doesn't look bad, Bonk says. He'd eat it. Didn't pay attention. Did it come with fish sauce? It didn't. They gave us soy sauce and hoisin and sesame seeds for like flavorings. And then I added some black pepper for sure. Fish sauce would have been key as well, I believe, right? They probably didn't put the fish sauce just to tailor it to more people. Like, what are we taught in culinary school? Whenever you're making like a menu for the general public to have access to, you have to make it so that 70% of people would choose that item. And then heck the other 30%, right? Even if they know better. <laughs> Nice, a vegan curry, a bit different than the Japanese one. Yeah, this was from HelloFresh. First bite, not bad. Let me have another one. Definitely mix the veggies in more. Mm. Just got a little bit of cilantro. I think I want to put more of that too. And then, I mean, just personal preference. I think green onion would have been money on this bowl for sure. For a garnish, just some onion flavor of some sort. Solas102, thank you for the follow. It's supposed to be spicy. Barely anything at all, Bonk. <laughs> right, Finko? I hate being the 30%. So the rice in the soup was getting mush at the end. This is something that I've done in the past when serving a soup with rice on the menu is just keep your rice portions on the side. Pop your rice in the bottom of the bowl if you want, you can heat it up ahead of time, the rice, the small portion of it. But then, yeah, just pop that in the bottom of the bowl, put the hot soup on top, and then you won't have mushy rice at all. Same thing with like orzo or pastas in soup as well. Mm. 
The beef really tastes beefy, I will say that. Big beef flavor. Yeah, the mayo on rice sounds odd. It's actually not bad. Like the rice was warm, the meat was warm, the mayo was cold and the veggies was cold. So it's like warm-ish stuff and cold stuff. With all the textures in here, it's good too, right? Because the veggies are crunchy, the other things are kind of soft. Oh, you miss most of the stream? Yeah, Sundays we usually do quick and easy, so three hours or less. We're at two hours, 15 minutes now. We still have to taste our monster cookies, our Charlie brownies, so have no fear. We're still here for a bit. Okay, one more big bite. This is gonna be a filling bowl though, for sure, if I eat this all. I still think my favorite Hello Fresh meal so far was yesterday's pork dish. I'm gonna ask Randall when I go see him again too. See if he says the same thing. Mm. Satisfying and satiating, but I think they could have made the flavors more banh mi-esque. That is my unbiased review, let's say. But oh, notice over the last month or so, we've been getting a lot more viewers. Used to average around 60, 70. Now it's around 100 or more. I don't know what happened, dude. So I noticed that like a bit back too. And like I said something to Sam, I was like, I don't know what's happening, but like my viewership is just like dropping. Last like two weeks, it's seriously skyrocketed again. So thanks for noticing and like, thanks everyone for the support. Didn't do anything different, right? Yumel, if you have the time, you'll do pulled pork as the next daily meal. Oh man. People love that there or what? Thanks so much, Finko. The hella good food and stuff. Love it here. I will say this though, maybe a lot of people were supporting Kanara during her kind of partnership push there. Now that she's got it, everyone else is redispersing throughout the community again. I don't know. It's all good things though, isn't it? Good, good things. Okay, we got this. I'm gonna make little snack packs. Yeah, people were gone back to work. A lot of people take holidays with their kids in the summer. So this was the weirdest brownie recipe I've ever made. So I'm very intrigued to taste this today. There was no cocoa. It was just chocolates. Different types, two different types of chocolates. I'm gonna grab a little knife. I thought it would be cute to like kind of plate these stacked up together, the brownies and the cookies on a plate, like how you would want to see it as a kid. Got the government required pest management set up so you're allowed to produce sausage and hams again. Nice work. Oh yeah, yeah. On Sunday she does her theme, her Julia Child cosplay. So they said nine brownies. Ooh, cutting through feels good. Very like fudgy feeling almost. Nice, the knife is so clean. Slicing through that. The centerpiece is like fudge. I can tell. Okay. 
Ignorance on cooking is showing cocoa and chocolate isn't the same. So chocolate is cocoa mixed with cocoa butter, as well as different amounts of sugar. I always knew this would be a thing. Yeah, the Germans dig American barbecue. That's why we want to go over there. More pickups there than Arizona. Let's go. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna use my little spatula here. This is like an offset spatula, just because these are so dainty. Move over, cookies. It's brownie time. Charlie brownies. Wait, I need to get the plate first. Get the plate out. I only have this one plate left to plate on anyways. Let's switch this out. I can just transfer it right onto there. Yeah, cocoa is like bitter, right? Come to me. It's always the hardest just getting the first one out, right? Please. Come to me. Oh, they are like fudge in the center. Whoa. Okay, let me just pop that on here. That, I don't know if that's like the Lindor truffle or what. But whoa. Mm-hmm. Charlie brownies, they said. That's delicious. That might be the ch most chocolatey brownie I've ever had. Okay, so we gotta start on this end, it looks like. Whoa. <laughs> Like, okay, I gotta show this side. Look at that piece. Don't look too far in that cave there of the chocolate. You might get lost. You won't find your way out. Yeah, the this stuff that's like stuck onto the bottom of the pan. Then like it's fully cooked through. It's almost like lava cake-esque. Yeah, really close to that, I think, is the best way to describe it. Like, wow. Look at that. That's like, I don't even know what to say. Ma my mom and I had this dessert before at a pub called Chocolate Pate. This is like very similar to that. I don't think we could have done a more perfect bake on it though. Okay, put that to the side for now. We'll load up some cookies. The brownies are lava. Yes, Bonk, except in this case, it's a lava that we do want to touch. Thanks so much, Greek. Yeah, moist and fudgy and have the like perfect little crust on the top. Uh-huh. So the brownies we made yesterday, Frank. Recipes in Discord. I can quickly pop it up in chat if you want. Beautiful bake on that. Lil wants. Lil needs. Imagine like, okay, either imagine a neighbor dropping this off or imagine dropping this off to one of your neighbors. What would happen? What the heck would happen? Yeah, the chocolate pate, so good. Just gonna take a photo. Get that chocolate sheen. There we 
there's a smudge. <laughs> yeah, I was waiting for someone to say that. Imagine, Kate, just dropping it right off to me. No, do it the other way. Sometimes, do you notice that on iPhone camera? Sometimes it does like weird stuff. It can't focus on the sheen of the brownie. One more, it's the last one. Okay. Cookies! We could just get in a bunch of cookie monsters in here now. Fudge like cake inspired by chocolate dessert and oat and chocolate peanut butter cookies sounds like a sugar overload in the best way possible. Thanks, Greek. How's it going, smoking MC? Okay, let's try this. Ooh, I think these are gonna be crumbly. Let's see. Oh, not bad. Not bad of a break at all. Cheers, chat. There's so many crunchy bitties. I think we could have went that last two minutes less. Every time. You know when you just have that feeling? Cause it's not like super soft in the middle. They definitely firmed up, but they are not like crumbly. Just I love the like crunchy exterior contrasting the soft interior. Good textures though. And as far as sweetness, I don't think it's too sweet. I think adding the oats in and stuff really helps. The ones I remember from the bakery when I was young were better than this. <laughs> and yeah, these brownies, oh my goodness. I don't even know what to say. Let's take this one that we already hecked up. Whoa, sorry, the middle of my brownie just fell out. There was some chocolate in it. Yeah, it was a little bit over Greek. I said the, the last two minutes that we originally did, we shouldn't have. Yeah, with cold milk, like look at this. That's banging. <sighs> I don't really have a sweet tooth anymore, so these couple of bites are like more than enough for me. Yeah, next time I'll have to make them again. Do better. The only milk that I have in the fridge here is oat milk. <laughs> and I don't want to have that with the brownie and cookie. But yeah, it would be good with milk because like, gets so fudgy. Success. <sighs> Chocolate is a hell of a drug, Frank. Straight up. It'll get ya. 
two and a half hours. We did it. I see Graham's trying to stream IRL. Is it successful? Nice, Annie. And the cracked joist is fixed. Good work. You literally like took all day fixing it. Seems like it. I, I believe it. Yeah, that was a tough job. Is that the Seattle Aquarium right now? Is it good quality? Is it rateable? You know we love Graham. So it's all good now, Annie? Now what's the next step? The You said the electrician's gonna come and get wiring and then you can finally insulate and put walls back up? Is that it? It's going in and out a bit. That would be the plan. I could come over and finish it for you. Yes. Okay, uh, streams are gonna have to wait a bit, guys. I'm just gonna fly over to Annie's house to help him finish up his walls really quick and then I'll be back. <laughs> You've done so many batches of brownies. Those ones, Kate, okay, let me just go into Discord and get the recipe from yesterday. Cause there is a link. This is for you, Frank. Thank you, cameras. Yeah, that would actually be the case. I'll just take you guys with me. Duh. Kate and Annie cooking. Everything gluten free. <laughs> Julia Child cosplay and two days tasty dishes at Kanara. Yep. You're very welcome, Frank. Yeah, kitchen isn't much to speak of now. That's why we got to finish it, right? Annie, we had a very quick and easy stream, but everything was super tasty. I mean, I don't want to show you this, but I also do because it turned out really nice. <laughs> the cookies, the brownies. I know you probably can't have any, but I know you would appreciate it. Okay, I hit that button. And yeah, puns galore. It would just be me leaving the kitchen the whole time and Annie just stuck cooking everything on his own. <laughs> oh, nice, Dust. Have a good first day. Do lots of learning. Keep an open mind. Make sure you ask questions if you're unsure about stuff. Questions are key. Fun stream, yeah. Thanks everyone for uh, seriously the amazing weekend of streams. What? Insane. We'll be back tomorrow though. I think some people are pretty amped for this. Uh, back to menu planning on Mondays for the foreseeable future and then games afterwards. Thanks, Dar. Thanks for sharing your community first thing with us. Yeah, tasty foods. All the recipes are in Discord if you want to make cookies, brownies, or a bon mi bowl for yourself this week. That was so much fun. Like, I had fun. You guys had fun. That's, that's why we do it, right? Like, we almost filled out the wall. I'm excited. Bringing back Monday streams, it's gonna be a thing. We always liked that, so I thought it would be a wonderful filler. <laughs> Basically it. Okay, let's go see the Twitch's version of Julia Child, AKA Kanara, love her. Let's go give her some support. Guys, if you need anything, you know where to find me. Thank you so much for everything. Love y'all, be safe out there. See you next time. Bye.